This is Michael Popak with the Legal AF Hot Take. Why doesn't Lev Parnas and his revelations that Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani conspired to try to bring down Joe Biden while he was a candidate against Donald Trump, and Lev Parnas has the receipts, has the video evidence, and has already testified and told the Midas Touch Network that Rudy Giuliani engaged in a pay-to-play scheme in which he wanted $200,000 in order to introduce Ukrainian leadership to Bill Barr, then the attorney general for Donald Trump. But that's not the only video evidence that Lev Parnas has. I want to break it all down right now on this hot take. Let's back up. Who is Lev Parnas and why does he matter? Lev Parnas, former uh, Giuliani close associate, a Ukrainian American business person who went to jail for his crimes and is now a new man turned a new leaf, has paid his debt to society. He engaged with Rudy Giuliani. It's now been admitted. It's been admitted to uh, by uh, Lev Parnas at the Jan Six Committee. It's been admitted in his allocution related to his crimes that he was one of the leaders with Giuliani for Donald Trump to try to tear down and disparage and say uh, false things about Joe Biden, his son Hunter Biden, and Burisma, which is an oil company in Ukraine that that Joe Biden's son Hunter was on the board of. All made up, all fake, all fictitious. It brought to the forward um, a prosecutor as well in Ukraine, Victor Shokin. I'll talk about Victor Shokin and the video evidence of Lev Parnas, Rudy Giuliani talking to Victor Shokin, in which it's confirmed that there is no facts, there are no um, evidence, there is no evidence uh, against Joe Biden at all, that it was all made up out of whole cloth in order to try to tear down a political rival of Donald Trump. Lev Parnas, among many people and those that are affiliated with the Midas Dutch Network, has paid his debt to society and he is a truth teller and he tells the truth over and over again about his interaction with Rudy Giuliani. In fact, I'm going to play you a clip now that was just disclosed on the Midas Touch Network. Sometimes we report on the news, sometimes we make the news here on the Midas Touch Network. Lev Parnas, in an interview, said that uh, Rudy Giuliani demanded a $200,000 bribe from a high-level Minister of the Interior in the Ukraine, uh, Yuri Lutsenko, and because Yuri Lutsenko who's no longer in the Ukrainian government, wanted a face-to-face with Bill Barr, the attorney general. And according to Lev Parnas in this next clip, Rudy had his hand out and wanted to be paid $200,000 to arrange that meeting. Let's play the clip. And lo and behold, two days later, all of a sudden we get a phone call from the general, the, the, the friend of the general prosecutors of Ukraine, Yuri Lutsenko, saying, Wait, we're in New York. Uh, we'd like to meet with Giuliani. <laughs> to, to what a coincidence that says. must be. Right, like two days later, <laughs> uh, to meet with, with, with the Attorney General Bill Barr. Uh, so, you know, we called Giuliani. Giuliani was like, holy shit, uh, absolutely, bring him in, because that's who we need. He's the one that could give us the current records. Uh, so we set up the meeting, and uh, Lutsenko comes in, and it was became a very awkward meeting because Lutsenko comes in with the 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 perception that he is the general prosecutor meeting with like the ex prosecutor, you know, Rudy Giuliani, and that he was on a mission to meet with the current prosecutor general, uh, Bill Barr. And he wanted to discuss criminality between the Templeton Fund and and money that was going in from Ukraine to America. Had nothing to do with the Bidens or anything else. It was about a real corrupt uh, money laundering scheme that that was going from Ukrainians to America and then back to Ukraine. So Giuliani stops him right away and says, we're not here to talk about the Templeton Fund. And he goes, if you want that, he goes, you can hire me and I can help you with that. He goes, but unless you have direct information that can help us with the Bidens and the corruption and Joe and Hunter Biden, uh, you know, don't waste my time. We have nothing to talk about. And Lutsenko was really taken back. He couldn't understand, you know, in Russian, he would tell me like, wait a second, I'm the general prosecutor of Ukraine. Like, I want to meet Attorney General Bo Barr. Like, what is the problem? So I, re- I I go tell that to Rudy and Rudy's like, look, 
you want to meet Attorney General Barr, the way things work here, you have to get, uh, pay a lobbyist and they will get you in there. So you could pay me $200,000 and I will introduce you to Attorney General Bill Barr. So Lutenko gets taken back again. He's like, what the hell is going on over here? So we stopped the meeting. Uh, Giuliani tells me, listen, go work on him and make sure that, uh, you know, tomorrow he brings us the goods. So that evening I go meet with Lutsenko and, you know, and Igor, they get drunk, you know, and Lutsenko's pouring his heart out to me like he can't believe what just happened. Like, you know, he looked up to Giuliani, like, he, you know, as his hero, you know, and all this stuff. And here Giuliani's basically shaking him down for 200000 to go meet the Attorney General Barr. And, you know, I did my job. I calmed him down. I talked him into it. I explained to him that, listen, you know, you know things, how things work all over the world. And this is just how things work in the United States. I mean, you got to play ball and to get what you need to get. Okay. So now we've established the bona fides of Lev Parnas, his relationship with Rudy Giuliani, that he's got the, the goods on Rudy Giuliani, so to speak, in terms of the corruption scandals. I mean, this should come as no surprise if you uh, just listen to Lev Parnas, for instance, when he testified under oath to the House Select Committee for the Jan 6 investigation, uh, where he said, in effect, um, I'm paraphrasing here, that Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani and others have been lying to the American people from the very beginning. For those that question why, and I have some Republican friends that ask me, why is the criminal justice system being used against Donald Trump? And isn't that election interference? The answer to that is no. Try not to nominate somebody that has been indicted 91 times and against whom former associates um, tell the American people they are liars and maybe you won't have a problem with the criminal justice system doing things during the campaign. Let's play the clip of Lev Parnas testifying before the Gen 6 committee on that very point. Let's roll it. Honorable members of Congress, Chairman Comer, Ranking Member Raskin, and members of the Oversight Committee. I am humbled and thankful before you to, to show up before you today. I came to the United States from Odessa, Ukraine in 1976 when it was still the so former Soviet Union. My mother and father and sister and I had left the Soviet Union escaping anti-Semitism and persecution. While in Rome and right, en route to Israel, my sister and I won the most important opportunity that we have ever been given. We won a U.S. green card lottery. My family came here with literally no more than shirts on our back and the hopes of rebuilding our lives in the land of freedom. I say this to you because I love this country. From shortly after my arrest on October 9, 2019 to now, I have been trying to share the irrefutable truth with you. The American people have been lied to by Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and various cohorts of individuals in government and media positions. They created falsehoods to serve their own interests, knowing it would undermine the strength of our nation. From November 2018 to October 2019, I was a key participant and a witness to numerous efforts to prove that Joe and Hunter Biden were linked to corruption in Ukraine. Rudy Giuliani, on behalf of then President Donald Trump, tasked me with a mission to travel the globe, finding dirt on the Bidens so that an array of networks could spread misinformation about them thus securing the 2020 election for Donald J. Trump. Ever try to break a bad habit and felt like you're climbing Mount Everest in flip-flops? Yeah, we've been there too. But here's a breath of fresh air. Fume. It's not about giving up. It's about switching up. Fume takes your bad habit and simply makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. Fume is an innovative, award-winning, flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. First time I tried Fume, it was way more flavorful than I thought, and it feels very fresh. The look and feel of a Fume is very sleek. It's well-weighted, 
perfectly balanced and extremely fun to fidget with. Plus, Fumes just released a magnetic stand for your fume, so there's no more losing it around the house. And it's built with fidgeting in mind. You can spin your fume around on it. Start the year off right with the good habit by going to tryfume.com slash legal AF and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of the show 10% off when they use my code legal AF to help make starting the good habit that much easier. Start the good habit at tryfume.com slash legal AF to save 10% off the journey pack today. Okay. Now, what's the takeaway from all this? The takeaway from all this is that Lev Parnas, on on good authority, on insider knowledge, working closely, shoulder to shoulder with Rudy Giuliani, conspired to try to take down Joe Biden with false information that he was involved with a bribery scandal and that he was involved in trying to protect his son, Hunter Biden, and his position on the Burisma board and to get a prosecutor fired. You'll hear a lot of talk. There's a lot of palm cards and talking points by the Republicans when you meet them somewhere. They'll say, what about that prosecutor in Ukraine that, that Joe Biden takes credit for getting rid of. First of all, the, the prosecutor they were talking about, which is Victor Shokin, Victor Shokin, remember that name. He was dismissed by Ukraine because he was found to be corrupt. That's why they got rid of him. Not because Joe Biden leaned on uh, them to get rid of Victor Shokin because he was conducting some sort of good faith investigation of Hunter Biden. He was getting too close to the Biden family. Therefore, he had to go. That's an interesting narrative. The only problem with it, according to Lev Parnas, is that it's completely false. So, uh, and how do we know that? You know, some people would say, well, Popak, you know, how do we know that? You know, Parnas is affiliated with the Midas Touch Network. Maybe he's blowing smoke or sunshine. Well, let me play you a clip of Lev Parnas, Rudy Giuliani, on the phone with Victor uh, uh, Victor Shokin, the dismissed prosecutor before he was dismissed, in which you'll hear Giuliani say, well, do you have anything on Biden? Any kind of bribery? Any kind of payoffs? Is there anything? And even that corrupt prosecutor, Victor Shokin said, no. <laughs> Confirming what Lev Parnas has said all along, including in his testimony to the House and what he had to do and uh, as related to his conviction, that it was completely made up out of whole cloth by Rudy Giuliani and Donald Trump in order to try to take down by fraud that which they could not do with the American people, defeat Joe Biden. Let's play that video. I guess what I'm getting at is, I understand that, and I understand why that's wrong, but was there any specific act that any of these per people performed? Do they get a kickback? Do they get a bribe? What I wanted to do is sort of pull it all together. All of these different disparate uh, pieces of the puzzle with that all tied back to Lev Parnas. I mean, we've had him on the show. We've had him. There's there, there's a recent interview that I think has gotten a lot of views. But I sort of wanted to do it from the analysis of sort of where we are and why Lev Parnas is a truth teller now. I mean, Michael Cohen also gets a lot of grief because they're like, well, he's a criminal and he he committed crimes and he went to jail and and all of that. And that may be true. And as they said in the opening statements um, by the prosecutors in the Manhattan prosecution of Donald Trump for 2016 election interference, they said that that uh, Michael Cohen is uh, complicated. Michael Cohen is uh, uh, a little bit uh, challenged as an individual, but that doesn't mean he's not telling the truth now. And I suggest the same thing applies to Lev Parnas. That Parnas has paid his debt to society, and he has the videos that he that the Republicans don't want to see, and he and we have the audio recordings, and he's public, and he's frank, and he's upfront about the Rudy Giuliani, Donald Trump, Lev Parnas conspiracy to try to take down Donald Trump. We follow all of this on the Midas Touch Network. Whether Lev Parnas was on this network doing interviews or not, he's a truth teller. He's believable. He's brought his receipts with him, and we need to report it one place on Legal AF and on the Midas Touch Network. If you like what I'm doing to kind of tie things together, give you that deep dive and analysis, don't, uh, I respect your time. I try not to waste it. Hit all the points efficiently. I do it right here on hot takes like this one. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, signals to the algorithm. Alder rip. Let me try that again. Algorithmic stays in the pod. Algorithmic gods that you like what I'm doing. 
And, uh, and in the comment section, I'm, I've been known to talk back and we can have a dialogue and a conversation. And then on Wednesdays and Saturdays, we pull it all together in a show we call Legal AF. Join us at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the YouTube channel for Midas Touch, and you'll know why we call it Legal AF, and then you can pick it up on audio podcast platforms of your choice. If you like my body of work, go over to Midas Touch YouTube contributors, look up Michael Popak, or under uh, contributors or playlists, you'll find all my hot takes. It's like 1,100 or 1,200. That's my complete body of work. And if you like the legal stuff at the intersection of law and politics and lawyers who know what they're talking about at that intersection, you're going to love our new Patreon. It's patreon.com slash legal AF for the price of, I don't know, a cup of coffee in New York a month. You'll get detailed instructional videos, if you will, how to's do it yourself about the law, civil versus criminal, state versus federal. Um, you know, trials versus arbitrations. Anything we talk about on Legal AF or we talk about in hot takes like this one, we're going to give you the molecular level, but we're going to do it in an informative and entertaining way that's not just for lawyers. In fact, 90% of our audience has nothing to do with the law other than the fact that they are uh, educated consumers of the information that we provide here on Legal AF. So until my next hot take, until my next Legal AF, until my next Patreon-exclusive video, this is Michael Popak reporting.